Hey, this is Jay from A Stitch in Time in Bemidji, Minnesota, and today I'd like to show you a quick lesson on how to get rid of the squeak in the carriage of your Handy Quilter Pro Stitcher machine. Occasionally, the gears that move the machine back and forth when you're quilting your design will start squeaking when you're moving it from one place to the next, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. Go down to your local hardware store and get a can of silicone spray. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of silicone spray, but the biggest thing you want to note is that it says for non-metallic surfaces, and also make sure that it says on the back that it's safe for plastics. There are some of the silicone sprays out there that are not, and so you want to make sure you don't use that. And then I'll take a paper towel. I use a sturdy, good quality one. I fold it in half so I have a nice little uh, section like that. And then I will just take that and I'll, I'll make it so it's fairly, fairly wet, you know, so it's got a good dampness to it. And then I will uh, take that and put that, that damper side down. And I'm disengage the gears of my machine and I slide it in between on the right side of your carriage here. Slide it in between the gear and the uh, carriage. Now sometimes you might have to pick this up just a little bit in order to get it in there. But you want to get it up in that, in between the white gear and the track. And then I re-engage my gears. Pause. Okay, and then you go up back up on your machine and you turn the gears from purple back to orange. And it's going to engage that gear. If you can see that that's actually rolling that stuff along there. And it, it'll just kind of um, move along there. And then once you're done with it, you pull it out and that takes care of it. Now that's how you do this carriage. You would do the same thing down here. You could just lay it down on the, on the ground on, and then roll, roll it along it. And you just want to make sure that you don't leave any pieces of paper stuck behind it. And what happens is that lubricant that's on there will get, well, just a little bit of it will go off on that gear and your, your squeaking will be all gone. We've done this numerous times over the years and sometimes it'll, it'll last uh, a year or two before you have to do it again, sometimes you, depending on how much you're quilting and the atmospheric conditions in your home, you might have to do it every six months or so. But it's a very quick way of taking care of that. So I hope that helps you out and gets rid of the squeak because I like my customers to remain sane. This is Jay. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you later.